thanks for checking out this 3D illustration doctor character kit. Let's see what's included in the purchase. You will receive a rigged cartoon character. You will also receive 10 plus medicine related 3D objects. Let's have a peek. You will receive two pills, a virus, a green virus, a plant, a doctor's workspace. This is how it looks from the other side. Pretty detailed stuff. The character itself also has a satastocope. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A notebook where to put the pills, a shield, a smaller workspace, and a syringe. But keep in mind, this is how it looks in the preview. In the renders, it looks like this. You will also receive 45 custom poses that are with these 3D assets, and almost all of them are medicine related. You will also receive two loop animations with this character. One is where he points to the left side, and the other one is where he waves happily. And the renders are super quick. In the Cycles render engine, it's about 19 seconds, and in Eevee, it's about 9 seconds. And this is the wireframe. It uh, seems like you like what you saw in the intro. Uh, I'll be going into more detail about each of the parts I mentioned. If you're interested, just check out the timestamps in the description and choose which parts you want to look into in more detail and just uh, yeah, click through and find what you want. This character was made in Blender 3.01, but basically anything 3.0 works. Um, to download Blender, just simply go on to blender.org, go under downloads and just click on Blender. Currently there's even 3.1 version out. Uh, this should still work fine. Just anything 3 point will work with this rig. Just make sure you download that on Blender. Keep in mind it's free, good stuff, recommends. Now we're going to be checking out the rig of this illustration character. Um, we made it in Rigify again with a simple face rig and a simple body rig. And also all of the assets are rigged as well. So let us have a look. Let's go into pose mode. Let's enable simplify so it does not lag. Some require custom lights because we made the poses. So we moved the lights. Uh, these are basically just the lights. Um, so it's great renders for you when you change the custom poses. Anyways, let's go back to the T pose. Uh, the rig is pretty good. Uh, will work for your animations or poses or whatever. It's not that laggy. Again, I'm on my laptop, so it it's if if it's working like that on my laptop. If you have a custom PC, it should be pretty good. Again, if you want to have it less laggy, go into solid modes and then it should be even less laggy. With the rig layers, you can also have more details. I go into more detail creating a pose later in the video, so just check out the timestamp if you're interested in that. But this is basically the rig. It's pretty, I don't know what, what to show, but it's pretty all right. Uh, if you're thinking of making animations or using this in a game, it should or exporting this as an FBX to use in like a browser or whatever, it should be great. Now we are at the how to change a pose part of the video. It's uh, fairly simple, but please keep in mind you watch it carefully because there can be a small glitch that happens if you do it incorrectly. So just uh, let's do it. So to change a pose, simply select the rig of the character you can see it come becomes orange, that means it's selected. Then go on the left side and click on Standing Confident. And you can see we change the poses. Uh, we can click on the next one, it's the third icon, just click on them and they should change fairly quickly. If you don't see the list on the left side, make sure you here on the top right you have selected Animations or simply on the right corner you can see I click on the screen one and then under pose libraries, you will see all of the poses. In case you're changing the poses and they're not changing, 
make sure you go into pose mode and make sure nothing, none of the rig layers are selected. So I'm pressing G and you can see the thing moves. If I press on nothing and I press G, you can see the torso does not move. So that means nothing is selected. And then you, when you try to change a pose, it should work. So just make sure you have nothing selected when changing poses. How to export? It's uh, fairly simple. The first thing you should do is just go on the top right corner and make sure your lights are enabled. And basically everything is looking great. Then choose the pose you want. In my case, it's uh, scratching heads. And then just go on the top left corner, click render and then render image. In my case, it's going to take around 20 to 30 seconds. As you can see on my laptop, it took around 17 seconds to export the image. Just simply go on the top left corner under image and then click on save as and then save it wherever you want. In my case, I have it in my blurdy folder. I'll call it one and just save that image. And now you have it saved. Great. Now we are at the how to create a custom pose part of the video. The first thing you should do is just go on the top left corner and make sure you have your default pose with all the props or no props up to the pose you want to make. So in my case, I'll make a pose with a prop. So I just click on default with the props and then I just enable that one. The second thing you should try to make sure you have a simplify enabled so it does not lag. And now let's go into the pose mode and choose which asset we want. Let's say uh, we want this briefcase. Don't drag these down because these are the lights. I think you should not be able to. Uh, you can select them, but don't 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 move them because those are the lights. We set them up for this. Of course, you can move them if you want to, but we try to set them up so they don't. So it's the best quality renders light setup. So regarding poses, uh, we have our character, we have our asset. Let's say he's going to hold the briefcase in his both of his hands. We're going to move that. Um, we're going to press G to move his arm, R to rotate, RX to rotate on a RZ or RY to rotate on a specific uh, axis. So I'm going to move it like this. Looks good to me. I'm doing this quick, as, of course. In your case, you can take more time to have more layers, for example, in the fingers, if I wanted to have more details, so maybe, maybe he's grabbing the uh, grabbing the square better, I would enable the finger details and I would uh, try to go with all, the, those, all about those small details so it looks perfect. In my case, I'm not going to use this pose, so I'm not going to spend as much time, but in your case, really do spend that time. You can also, of course, hide the layers if you don't want to see them. Yeah, we're going to adjust the face a bit more. Let's say he's happy or surprised or doing something with medicine. Let's do a, something about his legs. Maybe he's doing a split and the other leg as well. Oops. And now it may be for some reason our coat got stuck inside the mesh just to adjust that again is this more detail smaller details go under coat tweak and then you will see a bunch of small small thingies you can move to adjust the coat so it does not intersect with the mesh let's look at our pose um, yeah i think this will be enough in my case in your case again try to take more time with your poses Welcome at the saving your pose part of the video. This is a very, very important part so you don't lose your custom pose you spent very long making. So please pay attention. The first thing you'll make sure you do is uh, you can see our custom pose here we just made in the last section. And now let's say we want to save it. So we are in the pose mode. To save it, make sure you have none of the rig layers selected. So I have, for example, the head selected and if I press G, you can see it moves. And if I cl right click on nothing and I press G, you can see nothing is happening. That means none of the rig layers are selected. That's the very most important part. 
and uh, yeah because now if none of the rig layers are selected I'll just go to the top left corner or if you've changed your setup it could be here on the right you just uh, press plus as it will say add pose you just click on that click add new and it's gonna be right at the bottom of the pose list so it's gonna be our 46 pose make sure you rename it instantly or else you forget so 46 we'll call it surprised surprised uh, I don't know surprised chest so we just named our pose so let's just go in object mode let's uh, switch to let's say jumping happy that looks great let's go to standing holding note that also looks awesome and now let's go to our custom pose so surprise chest bam we have our custom pose it works great and everything is awesome Thanks for watching this doctor kit. If you enjoy it, just make sure you buy the product. It's going to be linked in the description. And if you also enjoyed the video, you can uh, leave a like and maybe and have some suggestions for other blender ready stuff you would need. So check out the links in the description and bye.